Hi everyone, welcome to Pinterest 30 Day Challenge. Um, today I'm doing tea bag art. Um, I'm, the easiest possible thing I think could think of to do with this is paint it. Of course, that was the inspiration. I wanted to do something a little different, but I ended up just painting that because that was the image I got from the Pinterest, and I thought, well, I'll paint it with something a little bit different that normally would be painted maybe with. Um, tea bags. So I'm using solu uh, water soluble graphite, which you see there. It's a, I have a six, uh, 2B and a 6B, but I use my 6B. And I also use my carbon black um, little block here to, to use. I also have durant watercolors that I use on the first um, tea bag here a little bit for the background and a little adding a little color. And so I'm just starting up with a little bit of the outer edge of my drawing, sketching here. So it's kind of like a little different because I'm painting, sketching, and using the water brushes. These water brushes are Durant water brushes. And there's three different sizes. And I mostly use the first and the second size, which would be this one here, is the first one, which has a bit more of a point. And it's good for finer details and the other one's a little bigger. Um, I didn't use the number three which is a wider top. Um, I've had these for a couple of years or so so they still are going. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm just starting to get out my, my sketch of my guy here and um, he's in the shadows, kind of has face shadowed by his, his hat. So I'm just kind of going with that and just to using here this darker black is the carbon black from the uh, little pad. It's like a little block. It's like a graphite block or something, but it's carbon black. I got this, I picked these up at the art store in um, Calgary and it's just a fine art store um, that I picked them up. and. Um, I'm not sure of the prices, I can't remember, it was quite a long time ago, and I think I might have taken the, if they had price tags on them, I might have taken them off. So that is what I'm doing with this guy, and I'm just kind of using um, my water brush, just lining it out, and um, it's kind of an interesting texture tea bags. it's kind of almost like working with a little bit like water paper or something, because it does pick up the water really well, like, it doesn't bleed as much like as paper does so it's kind of a neat texture to work with as well as um, let's see it was easy to use the water pencils on there as well and I also use gesso to highlight spots on this on both these um, tea bags I did not realize how far or how hard it would be for you guys to see me painting these. Um, at the end, I kind of go closer and realize, oh, I haven't used this control thing on my webcam in a while, and I will try to remember that for next time to make it closer for you guys. But when I looked at it in a larger size as well when I'm editing, it does look blurrier, so I'm not sure if it's a good um, call to use the up close so you guys can let me know in the comments that if it's better because I did it more at the end with the second um, tea bag if it's better to do a close up like that or if it's harder to see because of the blurriness so that would be helpful for me to know how to record smaller projects anyway so here I am just whitening up the collar of his shirt with the gesso and just like highlights and I go over it a few times um, my cat's meowing and uh, I do um, go over try to go over with the darkness too with the black carbon and stuff of like that and I find that the more I go over uh, it does get darker and um, so I can read darken some of my spots I find it works for me anyhow so I'm just gonna leave you guys at that for a little bit here and I don't know if I have anything else to add at this moment um, like here's the water pencil crayon, and nice, like I said, it's Durant, uh, very nice. I don't use them too often, actually, but I do use them for things like this. You don't need to pull out the watercolors as well. You can, but it's, this is a little tidier. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave you guys at this for a bit, and um, be back.